Right guys, Gaft is back with a torn. Okay, we're going to start out right, a signed torn and restored card trick. If you watched the reveal yesterday, this is basically the same trick. A few different moves in there which will enable you to get your spectator to sign the back of their chosen card. Now I was thinking about this last night in bed. But it's quite awkward to think up how a trick's going to work with it actually having the deck in your hands. But I worked today, had a bit of a fiddle around and it worked. So you're still going to need your top of the box gaff and two duplicate cards. You're also going to get a card and you're going to crimp it. Now this is my trusty jack of space, but you're going to crimp the jack from the face this time. So you're going to apply pressure with your thumb and your two fingers and you're going to drag them from corner to corner. So you create a a bulge but on the back of the card that will sit on the top of the deck followed by a face-up joker jack even followed by your top of the box gaff and once again you're going to force this card so I'm going to leave that card on top everything's going to go in the box right let me just show you something crazy I've got a pen I'm going to get you to sign a card in a minute don't flash like I did close up the box Put the box aside. Right, I'm going to do a triple swing false cut or whatever because I'm going to swing cut the top portion, which is where the card is. Swing put the middle portion, leaving a great big gap at the back. Drop this on top. Push in, push down at that point. Catch a thumb break. And then I'm going to call riffle down the side of the deck and you're going to call out stop anytime you like and we'll find you a card. Basically you're just going to pull up at your break and force the top card. Stop right here, are you sure? So in this case we have chosen the Jack of Diamonds. Now I lifted the Jack up like this because I'm going to do that same move again in a minute. So you've gone for the Jack of Diamonds. We're going to get you to sign the back of the Jack. Because you've got that crimp card there you can pick up this stack of cards as one. So you're just going to quickly turn it over and get your spectator to sign the back. Now I'm just going to write Pete. We're going to wait for that ink to dry. So you chose the Jack of Diamonds and we've signed the back of the Jack. We're going to take the Jack and we're going to rip it up. But make sure when you rip it, they don't see that this has nothing written on the back. We're going to rip it this way. I'm going to place these cards on the top of the deck like the other trick. And we're going to see if we can restore your jack. I'm going to take the box and I'm going to wave the box over the top. Can you see your jack restoring? A bit far-fetched. We'll try it again. No, OK, we're going to try it one more time. And believe it or not, your jack has restored. And it is your jack because you signed the back. Now you can see a little bit sticking out here, look. So make sure they're all squared up. But that is a great way of doing that same trick, but getting your spectator to sign the card. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to just find another sort of looking jack. Where's a jack of hearts? Jack of Hearts. So you've got one jack face up, followed by your top of the box gaff, followed by this card, just so you can force it. You can turn this card over. Right, we're going to get you to sign the back. If you do it nice and quickly, they should probably not notice that that is a thick block of cards. But two spectators, they're, you know, you can do it nice and quick. They're never going to spot it. And then you can rip up this card. Put it on top of here and restore it only to have their signature on the back. So that's just another great idea for you guys using the top of the box gaff but it's a little bit more powerful because you can get spectators to sign the card. So comment, subscribe, like guys and come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.